Hey guys, welcome to Destinations Delight. Today I'm in this amazing state of Arizona. We are here, gonna trek the Sierras to the Mojave Desert to maybe go into Blythe and Tecali, check out Schooley. We're gonna check out the RTR and we are gonna check out much, much more why we are here on this amazing time. I'd like to give thanks and hospitality to these people here. If you know that rig, check them out. That's right, it's Roy and Becky's Travels. Thank you very much for hosting us and having us here with you. Also, thanks to some amazing tech buddies that we have. We have Mellow Nomadic Adventures right here and Ron Sees America. We had an amazing time, an amazing journey with everybody. And um, I cannot wait to share all of this with you. So sit back, buckle your seatbelts, and let's go for a ride. See you guys. here, watch people fish, hike a little bit, walking trail. There are signs that say watch out for rattlesnakes, so rattlesnakes are a thing out here. Same with scorpions, guys. You just take your time, check your surroundings. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And for 
for those of you that see. And as most of you can see, some of these placards are pretty wore out because of the sun beats on them and destroys them. We're gonna walk along here, see what we can see. Tortoises, turtles, snakes. There's something about sharks and all of that. Wouldn't wanna become some fresh meat. Different cacti and cactuses and Joshua trees. They're very pretty around here. High voltage, you know, wanna get electrified, ate, and possibly swollen. Swollen, swollen one, whatever you guys call it. What these need is some very nice inter informational skews that people with cameras can come in and click on. It would help keep the deterioration off these boards from all the sun. And you just click on it and hear what it has to say. Down there is where you can walk down to where you could put in if you're going fishing. And there's more areas down the rugged terrain that I'm not going to walk. I did enough walking on stuff like this the other day.
the information. Now we're going to continue our little lovely walk. <clears throat> and as you can tell, it's a well handicap accessible area as well. Very nice trail here for the handicapped. And that's what I liked about this place is when we pulled off, you could tell how nice it is. And what I also like about this place, they have all of these little signs that are by their plants that tell you exactly what they are. So you, it helps you identify what things are out here that they have planted. So as you do your walking and talking like we are, you can see what some of this is. And take in an amazing view at the same time. Guys, it's about 62 degrees out here today. Scenery all the way around is gorgeous. They ask that you do keep your dogs on a leash and keep cleaned up, no swimming. It's well lit area. I bet you they play a little music along the trails in the summertime out here. We're gonna scope this out here. Somebody was walking behind me and they scared the out of me. I thought it was a critter coming up from the water. We saw these the other day. So you will see this in my video. It's a desert bighorn. Okay, we're going to go down these steps. Now, guys, this is the only part that I see that is not um, handicap accessible. So you can't get to this lower region, but you can if you're able to get out and do a few steps. And you can fish, overlook the beautiful rivers. And there's actually another part underneath here that we're going to scope out too. But here are the fish that you've already seen in the upper part of this video that are in Lake Havasu. So we are actually looking at Lake Havasu, but in just a different little area. Oh, 
Look how beautiful it is, guys. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. We're gonna go over here real quick. See, you can walk under the bridge. Just keep your eyes and your head on a swivel because you never know what you're gonna run into at different times of year. But, oh, look, there is a handicapped ramp. Impressive. So it is handicap accessible. I like that. We're not going off the beaten trail. I just wanted to know what this said. Mmm. Nope. We're not trying to get any amoeba eating diseases. So we can go up the handicap walk. It's just a little bit of an incline, not too much. So where you saw me go down the steps, if you go just a little bit past that, you will see the handicap accessible ramp. That will lead you down to the lovely underneath bridge. Quiet and clean renewable energy. So everything is ran by the solar panels out here. And I will show you in a minute what they're talking about. And what they are talking about is this amazing solar panel right here. This is probably not a path, but it is for what we are gonna look at real quick. Let's talk about renewable energy in this solar panel that helps operate the systems that are out here. It's pretty cool. And they're also on each little gazebo that we go to. So back continuing our walk here. Give you guys a little view to look at. Pretty scenery. That's what I like about this. All the way around. Beautiful lake on both sides. And you're on this little beautiful island in the middle or plain or whatever we want to call it. Peninsula. That's it. Peninsula. Thank you, sir. We're going to take a walk over here for a minute. Read this. The Central Arizona CPA is 336 miles long system of aquatics, pumping plants, tunnels, siphons that delivers Colorado River from Lake Havasu to users of the Micropa, Panel, Pitamal counties. The water starts its journey at the Mark William Pumping Station, which is a low concrete building located just across the highway right over there guys um here's the area that it helps feed here is the pumping ground for all of that here is a little bit of information here's the central arizona project 1.5 million acre feet of water So as you can see, there's a lot to learn out here. A lot of information. 
a lot of great things to see and learn and talk about. This is a cute little video. And we're going up here to check out all of this. An amazing walk and exercise. Get out and stretch. It's beautiful tundra today. Like I said, it's only the high of 60 some degrees. And you can really walk along and see all of these amazing, beautiful sights. And hello, there's mountains all around you. All around you. And there's little benches and resting stops along the way that you can get out and sit and just relax. Oh, and it's all, again, handicap accessible. And there's people down here fishing, so we're only going to talk for a few more minutes. Getting the job done. Like I said, I love it because it's all handicap accessible. Homes and habitats, everything. We're going to keep walking a little bit, catching the end of it. And there's two ends to this fishing area. And they're both handicap accessible. You can walk down here to the handicap thing, scope out the fishing, and really take it in and enjoy it. Or you can go over to this side and go fishing and really enjoy this. And this is the end of your handicap accessible area we're gonna go to grab oh no that just talks about the fishing down there with all the rest of the placards so this is the end of our little walk tour of this williams monument that they have here for everybody else up here is just a well-maintained trail that is not handicapped accessible for people to look at so guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell because you don't know where Destinations Delight is going to bring you. We go from the snowy mountains of Michigan to the high deserts of the Sierras and the beautiful forests of Arizona, California, national parks, all over the place. And I wouldn't want you guys to miss any of our amazing destinations. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching and have a fantastic day, a beautiful holiday, and we will see you on the next one. Peace all.